Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and I'm a fragrance and flavor enthusiast. Here on my channel, we mostly explore fragrances, but I sometimes like to throw in other content here and there just for fun. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has viewed, liked, commented, shared, and subscribed. So today I'll be sharing with you guys some powdery fragrances that are in my collection. So when it comes to powdery scents, I actually really do enjoy like a powdery note. And I know sometimes, you know, powdery can sometimes be, you know, uh, considered to be kind of like old school in terms of profile, but I don't mind. <laughs> and the powdery scents that I have to share with you guys aren't ones that I feel smell dated or boring or vintagey if that's not your thing. So I think you'll enjoy what I have to share with you today. So the fragrances that I've chosen to share with you guys today all feature powdery notes, but they're all done in a different way. So some literally list powdery notes as one of the notes in the fragrances. So to me, that means just something that literally smells like perhaps baby powder or just powder in general, which has like that airy quality to it. It's kind of abstract, but I think you know what I mean. <laughs> but then also I have some fragrances that feature notes of iris and violet, which are often described as smelling powdery. And I also have one that features powdered sugar as a note, so I'm excited to share that one with you too. So let's get into it. So first up, we're gonna start with all of my body sprays. So first up, we have Sea Island Cotton, and this scent was actually featured in one of my most recent videos, so I will link that up above for you guys to check out once you're done with this one. And this is one that features powdery notes as one of the notes listed. And I will say, that I get it because to me this smells like a, a a literal fresh laundry kind of smell and to me sometimes powder kind of takes me to like perhaps powdered laundry detergent as well as like the baby powder kind of vibe which is just both of those things are synonymous with like clean and I like that. So that's Sea Island Cotton. Next up, I have a fragrance mist that features the note of Violet, and that is Autumn Violet. And this is also featured in that video. So once you're done with this one, please do check that one out. And like I said before, Violet is often described as a powdery floral, and it's really one of my favorites because it's so unique in nature. And this is one that I would describe as powdery, sweet, and slightly green. And I enjoy wearing this to bed because it's kind of relaxing and it's a good alternative to the typical lavender and vanilla scent I go for when I really need to relax. <laughs> so the next fragrance I have to share with you guys smells powdery to my nose, but it doesn't list any explicitly powdery notes. And that is Almond Blossom. So this is one that has a very almondy floral vibe to it, believe it or not. <laughs> but there's a powdery quality to it that I think comes from the musky note in here. But to me, it kind of has like an, an almond powder kind of vibe to me. And I do really like that a lot. Cause even though it smells like floral, there's like that edible quality to it that I really do like. So next up, I have another scent that leads with a powdery floral and that floral is Iris and the scent is Starlit Night. And this is a really awesome one that features notes of Iris, Oud, and Snowberry. And I've described this before as like a berry version of In the Stars, and I guess an even more powdery version of In the Stars as well. And I really like In the Stars, but I think this one might be actually a little bit more wearable to my nose because the powdery quality about it kind of makes it feel a little bit more toned down and dare I say wearable than In the Stars. And I do really enjoy this. And I do think the packaging really does speak to how the scent smells. <laughs> yeah, I really do like this one. So next up, I have a newer release from Bath & Body Works, and this also features the note of Iris, and that is Butterfly. So this is one that I would describe as being a fruity floral scent. It has raspberry in here, Iris, like I mentioned, and also vanilla. And it's like sweet, powdery, but also kind of juicy at the same time. And I really like that. I like my variety. So yeah, Butterfly is awesome. So last up, I have a fragrance mist that features that powdered sugar note I mentioned earlier. And that is none other than Raspberry Jam Donut. And this is a scent that smells literally like its name. Like it has the jam note, the raspberry jam, powdered sugar, and fluffy donut as one of the accords as well. It's awesome. 
it's like super literal, super edible, and super sweet. Now, I would say that the performance is kind of like lacking on me, but it's okay because for what I typically use it for, which is chilling at home, relaxing, or like layering with a perfume, it does what it needs to do. And I also have the body cream in this formulation, so typically I have no issues with it because what I use it for works for me. <laughs> so now we're moving on to the perfumes that I have in my collection that are powdery in nature. So the first one I have to share with you is actually one that I've layered with the Raspberry Jam Donut Fragrance Mist and Body Cream, and it smelled so good, so good. And that scent is Flower by Kenzo, Elixir by Kenzo. So this is one that features a literal note of powdery notes. And it's so good. It has like a raspberry note in here as well, hence the inspiration behind me pairing this with Raspberry Jam Donut. So the bottle is obnoxious, but the scent in here is awesome because it has like a juiciness to it, but it's also powdery in nature, which is something that I enjoy. Like that's a scent profile that I enjoy. And you know, the juxtaposition of like juiciness, but also not dry, but powdery. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so for me, this is one that I think smells super feminine. It's girly without being too playful, but there's also like a sexiness. So I guess the best way to describe it would be kind of flirty, but I've worn this in serious situations before and I feel like it didn't take away from what I was doing. But yeah, I do enjoy this one. I do enjoy this one. So next up, I have a fragrance that was featured in one of my more recent videos, and I will link it up above here. And that is Mont Blanc Signature. So this is one that doesn't have any powdery notes listed per se, but I think it's that musk in here that does it. And I feel like the bottle also just speaks to like how it smells. It's very much a clean, airy scent and i really do enjoy wearing this and this is something that i'm excited to wear in as the weather you know warms up even more because i got this uh i think it was potentially fall i can't remember when i had this point is i'm excited to try this out because sometimes with powdery scents right i forgot to mention this earlier i find that sometimes when it's too hot powdery scents are just like they can sometimes be like overwhelming to me at least when i wear them they're like close to my nose and stuff but i there are some powdery scents that i do enjoy wearing when it's like a little warmer out because of that like airy quality to them but i think it also just depends really on the fragrance as a whole and then how hot it is and a bunch of other things but the point is <laughs> i'm excited to try this out this spring and summer just to see how it works because there also is like a sparkliness to it. This is just such a beautiful scent. And yeah, I think this is gonna do very well for me, very well. <laughs> so next up, we have a scent that features both Violet and Iris. And again, other notes that I really like paired together. And that is En Salon's The EDT from the House of Guerlain. So this scent also features notes of raspberry, which I love with powdery notes, rose, which I also love with powdery notes and a bunch of other things. I think there are like red berries in here as well. But yeah, this is like a bubbly, happy scent that on me maintains its like juiciness, but has that powdery quality that lasts pretty much from first spray to the dry down, which I absolutely adore. And I think the powdery nature of it also adds to like, it smelling like clean, but not like, not necessarily like laundry detergent. And I really like it. So next up, we have another scent that features a similar composition to En Salon's in the sense of it featuring violet iris and some berry notes. And that is Lipstick Fever from the House of Juliet Has a Gun. So this is one that has that literal makeup-y kind of smell to it, which I personally, personally really like. But it also has that quintessential aroma chemical scent that comes in many, if not all, of the Juliet Has a Gun fragrances. And that helps this scent to project and perform longer on me. And I don't need a lot of it. The travel sizes of the Juliet Has a Gun scents that I have in my collection have been doing me justice because personally, I don't need a lot of it to work well for me because they project so well and they last so long on me. And spraying too much of these scents can just smell a little overwhelming to me. But for that like makeup-y 
aroma chemical vibe this is definitely one that i reach for so next up i have a scent that is more on that gourmand edible side and that is fresh cream from philosophy so this is one that's a super lactonic scent so super milky with that whipped cream note but it also features floral notes as well as a note of powdery notes <laughs> so for me this one is one that I enjoy spraying in the air just because of how potent it is. But I have layered this with scents of mine to add like more of a lactonic vibe to the scent that I had on prior to applying this. But what I do like about it is that yes, it has that milky quality, but it's almost like powdered milk, which I feel smells different than liquid milk. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not even a fan of like dairy milk to be honest, but whipped cream and stuff like that I do like. And even though it has floral notes, which I feel like is a bit of a turnoff for people with that floral and then that milky quality in this, I actually do like it. Now, I'm not too sure about wearing this in like super hot weather because I haven't really tried wearing lactonic scents in like the height of the summer months. I just feel like it would be a bit of a mess. An ice cream scent, maybe. A literal like milky note no getting off topic here point is this one has powdery notes in it and, and it's done in a way that I really do like because this is like even though it's strong it has like a softness and a subtlety to it which I do like and this is definitely one that's good for layering as well so next up I have a perfume that is often described as your skin but better and that is Glossier's You so this is one that features iris powdery notes and Something else, let me check. Okay, so the other note is musk. I thought it was woody notes because sometimes this pulls kind of woody to my nose and also depending on who's wearing it as well. But um, this one is one that just smells like clean skin, but it's done in like a, a way that's kind of prominent in the sense of it not being like a skin scent. At least when I wear it, I know other people can smell me because it's kind of loud, but not in an unmock not in an obnoxious way at all to me <laughs> but yeah so this is one that's powdery super musky that iris obviously lends to that powdery quality about it i do enjoy wearing this i actually wore it to the gym recently and i didn't spray much i had like three sprays on and i felt like i could easily pick it up and i knew people could smell it too with my arms like wafting and waving about but i do really like this and i'm warming up to it more when i first tried it I kind of was like, okay, it's cool. But the longer I've had it in my collection and the more I've tried it out, the more I'm really enjoying it because I do really vibe with the powdery scents. I do, I do. <laughs> so last up for perfumes, I have a scent so powdery that its name is powder. Narciso Poudre, yes. <laughs> this is one that I absolutely friggin' adore. For whatever reason, there's a rose note in here, right? And for, for whatever reason, that rose sometimes pulls kind of like juicy to my nose. Don't ask, I don't know, but I, I just love the scent. It's like super just comforting, but also has like, I wanna say sexiness to it, right? Even though it's not doing too much, but it's the kind of scent that I wear when I want to feel like good, confident, clean smelling, but also just feel like I have things together, right? And when I first got this, it was, I think it was, well, we don't really have seasons here per se, but I think I wore this in September and I figured, you know, fall and, uh, I damn near choked myself out wearing this because it was definitely hot that day and I it smelled great but that powdery like the powderiness of the scent was just doing too much it was too much and I, I think I could probably pull this one off in like warm weather but positioning well placing it on my skin and clothing in a way that's a little bit further away from my nose. And also it, the juice is actually 
You can't really tell, but the juice is actually like a deep red color. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend spraying on your clothes unless you're wearing something dark, but do you boo. But this is like, yeah, it has like an almost sweetness to it too. It's like, I really do enjoy this. This is one that I feel like is an elevated powdery scent because to me, it doesn't just smell like basic or generic, but it doesn't smell like overly complex at the same time. And I love that. So that's everything for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. So let me know down below in the comment section, what are your favorite powdery scents? I'm very curious about that. And also if there are any powdery scents that you haven't tried yet, but you're curious about, let me know, please. <laughs> and if you liked today's video, please like this video. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do ask of you to subscribe, please. And if you'd like to support my channel even more, you could buy me a bubble tea. All that information is listed down below in the description box. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you later. Bye. Oh, what is on my foot? <laughs> Glossier is you, is it dirty? Oh, it, wait, wait. what is this? So last of her perfumes, we have something so powdery that its name is Powder. Narcissu, Narcissu, oh, should I start over? <laughs> uh.